Hello friends and very good evening once again this is Sajal Saxena and I'm welcome all of you welcoming all of you rather to uh the yet another edition on the viewpoint with Sajal. Uh people today's day has been an eventful day there have been lot of activities happening so I would be quickly putting across my viewpoint on the UP elections that are around the corner like we all know besides that the genocide that has been you know on offer and is a part of the flavor of the up elections for 2022 uh besides this there is a tragedy that has taken place i would say a mishap that has taken place on the on the ins uh, uh, warship indian naval warship wherein we lost three indian navy personnel so uh besides this a lot more to come and uh, today i would like to speak and speak to the fullest so that all of us should actually get involved into it the fact of the okay let's start up with the upcoming uh, up election poll the opinion polls rather a uh, lot of opinion polls have been coming and uh, this is what i have learned what i have actually seen bjp has been seen with a whopping vote share of around 41.41 and a half percent which means uh, okay let me give you the stats first bjp is bound to get about 41 and a half percent of votes a uh, vote share followed by the samajwadi party or the sp uh with around 33.33 and a 1/2% of uh, the vote share then comes the bsp the bahujan samaj party around maybe 13% or so congress is in others this bhaijan called from hyderabad aimm in others so uh we shall be discussing about these three uh parties who are bound to make their mark there have been consistent polls that have been taking taking place all throughout however uh the biggest uh, finding or the learning that we have drawn is that bjp is retaining its ground though in terms of the vote share bjp is still managing to get around 41 and a half percent and there is still about 28 days to go for the polls so a vote swing if we convert this vote percentage of 41 and a half percent which bjp is claiming or rather the opinion polls are giving to the bjp if we convert that into uh, the seats it comes somewhere close to 272 275 odd seats now coming to the uh, sp wherein uh, they are as per the projections of the op opinion poll they are bound to get about uh, 33% plus minus uh of the vote share so they they would be getting somewhere close to 110 215 uh, seats uh mayawadi party uh bahujan samaj party is about to get about uh maybe close to 14 seats to 15 uh, i mean 10 to 15 seats you can say however this is something which is uh, phenomenal and it has never happened in the history of up in the free up in the free uh, uh free india uh post independence that any party has repeated repeated the government in uttar pradesh we have seen a trend in rajasthan as well wherein you know there used to be like one year, one term congress the other term bjp then congress then bjp out here on the similar lines it was like you know uh, the the game used to be between the uh, the uh, the, uh, the samajwadi party and the bharatiya Uh, sorry bahujan samaj samaj party but this time what has happened ever since 2017 and when all you sanatanis all you sanatanis took the took the oath and pressed the right button in 2017 and i'm sure this time as well in 2022 you would pr press the button even harder why i'm saying this this is my viewpoint guys so this is my viewpoint why i'm saying this that we saw what happened in 2014 and then we saw what happened in 2019 so you pressed a button a particular button in the year 2014 and you even pressed it harder in the year 2019 so the results we all know besides this uh, this was just a stats that i wanted to give of course so one very critical thing that i would like to present here is imagine let's say if even if there is a vote swing in the vote percentage minus 2% bjp let's add that to samajwadi party plus 2% still 
BJP would be forming the government. If we go ahead and further reduce the BJP's vote share by 4%, still BJP would be forming the government. But if we add on the other way around, if we add on 2% on the existing polls, uh, sorry, opinion polls tally, BJP would be comfortably crossing the 300 mark. And when we know there are 28 more days to go for the UP elections, UP polling, so I mean, a lot more to come. Things will definitely happen. And it has been a trend. If we, if we see in what happened in West Bengal, what happened in West Bengal, there was a, a percentage that, that was given to uh, Mamta Banerjee's party. There was a percentage of vote share given to the Bharatiya Janata party. But as the poll progressed, till the, till the time, you know, the polling actually took place, Trinamul gained the momentum. And the vote swing that happened was plus around 2%. Although many of the uh, opposition parties or people who do not, uh, who are not the right wingers or blah, 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 they claim that BJP could not, you know, do anything in West Bengal, but people, BJP, when it started its journey from the year 1980, and in Bengal specifically, had used to have one or two MLAs, look at the number. Look at the number. So this was a brief analysis that I wanted to put across to you. So my suggestion, my request to all those who are watching, and if you people are there in the state of UP, so imagine 2014, 2019, and this is going to be repeated again, 2017 and 2022. So people, think about it. Now, there is another very interesting thing that has happened. Hindu genocide. I know it is shocking. People, uh, do we foresee another genocide happening for Hindus? Because we kind of hear similar voices coming from Hyderabad, 15 minute ke liye police atalo, all that crap happening. Then these days, the Bada Bhai Jan has been, you know, he's busy roaming in UP and, you know, claiming to be a king maker kind of, uh, kind of uh, role or something, something. But this funny, I mean, they are full of funny characters. Today, another call for the Hindu genocide, genocide has been made. Molana Taufi Raza, Taki, Taki Raza, I believe. What he said, I mean, there is a clip. He says that Mere Larke Agar Hat Se Nikal Gay, No Javan. Agar Mere Bat Se Nikal Gay, Ya Mere Hat Se Nikal Gay, to Hindu Onko Chupne Ki Jaga Nahi Milegi, something, something on those lines. The, the entire clip is very much available on the, on the Google. Amazing. Amazing. Now, if uh, Kali Charan Maharaj has been put behind bars, Please, please, I'm not supporting the derogatory language that he used for Mondas Karamchand Gandhiji. But then, if he can be put behind bars, why? Why this fellow is roaming free? And to my amusement, the best thing could happen is that Priyanka Gandhi immediately, not Gandhi, sorry, Priyanka Vadra immediately did a photo session and, you know, made him join the Congress party. They are also claiming that, I mean, the, they are now go going to be, you know, uh, getting more and more Muslim votes, more and more Muslim votes because uh, MY factor is what they are fearing of. So my thing is that uh, people, I don't know for how many decades, how many years the Hindus are going to be, you know, uh, uh, threatened. How many times we have to listen to all this? nonsense this shitty business that ye kar doge to hinduon ka wo ho jayega aisa kar doge to waisa ho jayega people i mean i do not want to make any statement out here ke agar hinduon ne aisa iska ulta kar diya then what will happen then what will happen i mean imagine so all i want to say is that uh, i mean i i yet to see whether some kind of a legal action would be taken against this 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 idiot or not let us see. Let us see. It is still to come. Many people are, you know, 
uh, defending. All throughout the day, they've been defending. All throughout the day, they've been, you know, giving useless arguments. What do you mean by saying that? Are you planning an, another Kashmir? What happened to Kashmiri Pandits? Or are you uh, uh, planning to make uh, another Pakistan out of India? Or what exactly are your uh, is your intention? This is ridiculous. You cannot just come, make a statement in the public rally and just get away with it. And then you say that a particular community ko dar bahut lagta hai. Where is, where is this award, uh, award wapsi gang? Where are those uh, uh, so-called tukre tukre gang people? The communists, the leftists, the librandus or the blah 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 dash dash dash. Where are they? Not even a single voice, not even a single person that has come out and, you know, condemn the statement. I have no hopes from this Vadra Congress or whatever. I have no hopes at all. They have been selling the country. They will sell it further. Thank God they are not in power. But this is what they are up to. Election attack, you wear a Janehu over a coat and then you are roaming around. Look at the way that you walk in a dhoti. It reminds me of Tom and Jerry. Actually, it reminds me of Tom and Jerry. The day CDS passed away, Chief of Defense staff passed away, the lady was dancing and singing. This is the this is the kind of seriousness that you you actually have. You are the ones who called the prime minister, then chief minister of Gujarat, Khungi Dalali. You called, you termed our chief of army staff, Galika Gunda. This is I don't know. Uh, God gives, God gave all the Sanatanis to bear these kind of characters in the country. All I can say is this. But I would also like to say, people, okay, we are Hindus, Hindutva, and please don't get, you know, divided in the name of Kurmi, in the name of uh, Bra uh, uh, Brahmins, Jats, uh, Gujars. Please don't do that. Hindu means Hindu. The biggest minority community in India, in India, let them contest. And they're contesting themselves, amongst themselves, all across the world. In the name of Shias, in the name of Sunnis, in the name of Ahmadiyas and blah, 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 whatnot. So my appeal to all of you is that please remain united. Stay as one. Gone are the days when we used to have those sins in our society, wherein we used to follow this communal divide within within one community. No, don't do that, please. Another interesting fact is the kind of, you know, the the the, uh, uh, the election, uh, the poll, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the candidate, candidates uh, list that has come out for uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav's party or Akhilesh Yadav's party. I would uh, request all of you to do a little bit of uh, homework, a little uh, rather not homework, but introspection and kindly see what kind of elements have been given tickets. Are we heading? Are we voting? In fact, whosoever are voting for uh, uh, Samajwadi party, are they, I mean, I would say, are they actually looking towards the similar scenario wherein Sefai Maha Utsav used to be budgeted well with around 400 crores with no electricity in rest of the state. None of the chief ministers, the father and the son, they never bound to come down to Noida because they, 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 they found Noida to be unlucky. Whosoever comes down to Noida would definitely be losing the upcoming elections. So is that what uh, we are heading towards? The Gunda elements? The Gundaism? Oh my God. Think it over. Think it over, people. And my my appeal to all, all of you who are living in the state of Uttar Pradesh, 
please repeat what you repeat what you did in 2014 and 2019 to 2017 and 2022 that is what my viewpoint is you may differ that's okay fine so you may differ that's perfectly fine besides this another thing urta panja that was a movie that, that was that came in but today uh, our dear friend uh, <coughs> went ahead and you know uh, declared the chief ministerial candidate for his party who always take a small one a small one not lovely but a small one so it reminds me of nothing i mean i'm, I'm sure that this fellow must have given up uh, his intoxications or whatever he used to be using for for being an influence so i'm i hope so i hope so and let us see i'm in the most sensitive state the border state and you know this is really unfortunate what exactly is happening how things are you know functioning out there when we know that uh, the khalistani terrorists they are very much functional i mean and we know what pakistan is doing again so uh this is a matter of introspection, again, for the Punjab. Besides this, people, one more thing. Uh, like in my previous video, I discussed, I highlighted, I highlighted one more point. The Pakistan, they have come out with a national security policy citing, citing that they would not be, or declaring that they would not be having any kind of enmity with next and they will not be indulging themselves directly with India in any kind of conflicts for the next about 100 years. I call it, I call it a hoax. I call it a hoax. Even if they do not and they want to engage India, they have no money to do. Today, if the, if the uh, if if Prime Minister Modi only you know create a build up across the LOC, which happened, which happened during the Kargil days, during the Kargil days, and in fact when there was an attack on the Parliament, wherein hundred thousand more than I mean four hundred thousand two hundred thousand uh, soldiers were deployed all across the international boundary or the LOC. Pakistan will be over. As it is, they are over. They have no money. Now their Gadha diplomacy is also over. They are left with no more donkeys to, you know, export that to China. So they will, they will definitely be over. So people keep watching and keep, uh, encouraging i am noticing a lot of encouragement coming my way to my channel viewpoint with sajal so many comments i mean so many likes and you know uh, the views and everything i have made i am making this initiative uh i know it's this much we shall grow with time with the effort and with the blessings of all you people and support with all of of, of you people so thank you very much look forward from my another video that i shall be posting tomorrow but do remember do remember one thing we have been we have been slaves for about a thousand years one thousand years and one particular community who lives in india and who threatens for hindus genocide with their actual forefathers being also hindu jo us waqt ka kayar hindu tha wo aaj ka us community ka so remember please stay as one all right so thanks very much thank you for your time take care see you tomorrow on the other side please do not forget to subscribe like and share and promote the channel thank you guys take care